Hello and welcome to this Coffee Cup Visual Site Designer tutorial. This one is, um, I can't really call it an eight, but we're going to call it eight anyway. Uh, number eight. Um, I know I had said that I would uh, go into how to add a message form to your website. However, I just thought of something that maybe perhaps you might want to consider starting on. Uh, because it will be something that you will have to do or <laughs> in order to get your website um, recognized by the search engines and so on and so forth. And it's called um, Search Engine Optimization, SEO. And this is part of it. And what it has to do with is um, adding meta tags and sometimes a description. Now... Um, on the Visual Site Designer, you will have a um, under Edit. If you come up to Edit, and you scroll down, it says Edit Header. Now that is not the header that you would have like up here. This is actually would be like your HTML, although it doesn't appear to be HTML in the uh, Visual Site Designer. But, and then it says, um, edit keywords and description. This is what you want because the keywords and description are your meta tags and description. Okay. So we're going to click on that. And um, this little box tells you a bit about them. And it's used by the search engine to help index your website in search results. And then, so you would put some keywords in uh, about your website. So if your website is about um, greenhouse things, you could do something like um, shrubs, uh, trees, uh, evergreens, <laughs> um, and so on. Or, you know, if it's flowers, um, you can talk about, you know, add your different types of flowers and so on. So, and you, um, then you write a short description, okay? So then you would say this, um, this website, and you could name your website, you know, like if it's Joe's Nursery, um, then you could say Joe's Nursery is about, uh, this website has a, offers a variety of variety of trees and shrubs to landscape to beautifully landscape your lawn or something to that effect you can go up to 50 words okay and this if you will notice now um, if you've gone to, um, if you've ever used Google, which I'm sure you have, you'll notice that on there you'll s usually see something about, um, like this would be like Joe's, where, uh, Joe's Nursery, okay? Um, then you would see Joe's Nursery, and then underneath that is a description. And I'm sure you've seen it. Well, that's what we've just done. This will be the first thing that... Um, people that are looking for a nursery or a place to buy trees and flowering shrubs and so on and so forth would would look and they'd say, oh, okay, Joe's Nursery has all of these things, okay? And then you can apply this. Now, you can do it one of two ways. You can do it to all your pages if it's strictly for a nursery, or you can just apply it to the current page. So let's say if on one page you're talking about trees and shrubs, and on the next page, you're talking about uh, <laughs> under under uh, ground watering systems or something. So you would only want it to, to go on uh, the current page. So then you would just click that, and it would be in there. Okay. So um, I'm just going to click that, and you you won't really see it, but it will be seen and indexed uh, by the search engine spiders and stuff. So that's how you add your meta tags. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.